So the other day on the program, we talked about how Donald Trump claims that the United States government will now designate Antifa as a terrorist organization, which doesn't make sense because Antifa isn't an actual organization. It doesn't have organizational structure. There's no leaders. Antifa just means anti-fascist. And as Ben Norton pointed out, uh, you know, it'd be as absurd as if you designated environmentalists or socialists loosely as an organization, right? So the reason why he did this, obviously, is because he wants to give the United States government a justification to crack down on civil rights and civil liberties. So anyone who the U.S. government deems as Antifa can be indefinitely detained, for example, or have their civil rights or civil liberties violated with impunity. That's what this is about. Although I have to admit that I underestimated just how ruthless the Republican Party is, because we're not just talking about using this as permission by the U.S. government to crack down on protesters. One Republican lawmaker in particular is using this as permission to extrajudicially kill American citizens. And as I say this, it's honestly unbelievable to hear those words come out of my mouth because Republican or Democrat, you know, I never thought that I'd see a day where anyone who is an elected official would suggest that we should murder U.S. citizens. But that's what Matt Gates decided to say via Twitter, saying, now that we clearly see Antifa as terrorists, can we hunt them down like we do those in the Middle East? He's talking about United States citizens. Now, let's put aside the absurdity that allows the United States government to illegally hunt down terrorists because the war on terror has been a failure. We're just ruining other countries. But he wants to do that here. Matt Gates just tweeted a sitting elected member of Congress just openly advocated to hunt down American citizens. Let me ask you this, Matt Gates. How many terrorist attacks has Antifa committed that is akin to the terrorism we see from, uh, I don't know, right-wing militias in the United States? See, if you're advocating for the extrajudicial murder of American citizens, you are the one who is the terrorist. You are the terrorist. And this is so absurd that every single person in this country should be outraged by this. Not just Democrats and members of the media, but Republicans. Because here's the thing. I would never advocate for the extrajudicial murder of American citizens, no matter how morally reprehensible I think their political views are. So look at the MAGA chuds. I absolutely despise their philosophy on life. I think they're disgusting and ruthless and morally bankrupt. But I would never in a million years say that they should be murdered. But Matt Gates, a pro-death Republican, excuse me, he considers himself pro-life, is saying we should murder American citizens. So for those of us who thought that this designation of Antifa as a terrorist organization would be used to crack down on civil liberties, we gave them too much credit. They want to use this to kill people they disagree with. Anti-fascists. So Matt Gates, an elected official who's serving in the United States Congress, wants to be able to murder anti-fascists in this country. He should step down. He should resign. Because any lawmaker who thinks we should murder U.S. citizens is not fit to serve. This is psychopathic. We are seeing his thirst for blood displayed in the open. And guess what? If you look at his Twitter feed, he doubled down. He was angry that Twitter limited who could view this because it's obviously inciting violence. He doubled down. He was outraged. He couldn't understand why Twitter would hide this violent tweet. This is a psychopath. And it's not just him. You have Tom Cotton saying no quarter for the Antifa terrorists. I mean, these people are so psychopathic that we can no longer just say that the Republican Party is mostly proto-fascist. This is outright fascism. When you start openly calling for violence, yearning for violence 
of American citizens? You're just a fascist. And that's not a hyperbole to say. If you disagree with me calling Matt Gates a fascist, read the tweet again. Can we hunt them down like we do those in the Middle East? This is deranged, psychopathic behavior from a member of Congress. He wants to murder U.S. citizens. And what's crazy about this? Haven't really heard much about this from the media. Now, I understand because they're covering the protests in a very shitty way, by the way. But you can't just be a sitting lawmaker and say something like this, advocate for the murder of American citizens, and get away with it. Even in authoritarian regimes when this happens, it makes international headlines. So for a U.S. official to openly advocate for the U.S. government to hunt down and kill United States citizens, that is beyond the pale. And he's got to resign and step down, and there should be pressure on him to do just that. Because I don't care who you are, Republican, Democrat, Socialist, it doesn't matter. Nobody should be allowing this to happen. Nobody should allow this psychopath to continue governing if he hates Americans so much that he wants to hunt them down, as we do the terrorists in the Middle East. I'm honestly shocked by this. And I've covered politics for years, so I didn't really think there was much that the Republican Party could do to shock me, because they are the party of death and destruction. But usually, you know, they resort to dog whistles. Usually they tacitly, you know, uh, admit their true feelings about them not caring if Americans die. But now they're just openly saying it. Let's hunt them down. This party is a fascistic death cult. And if this party does not collapse, then the American system will. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly. <laughs>